Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon for some of them. Uh, my name is Miguel Cisneros. I'm part of the uh, tech support and training department uh, here in for Honeywell Homes Residio now, uh, based in, in the office of Miami. And first of all, thank you very much for your time for attending this webinar. And this webinar is going to be about uh, an overview of Vista, different Vista, Vista 40LA, Vista 20P, and also the Vista 21IP, which are pretty similar, all, all three of them. Uh, there is some only some uh, differences, like for example on the programming, uh, some description. The programming is almost the same. Some description and and a little a little characteristics that we're gonna see later on. Okay, uh, so we're gonna start now. Um, this is a product overview, as you see in the in the screen, different devices for the vistas the the one in the main the main panel the the cabinet and all different keyboards uh, smoke detectors um key fob etc etc no to see those uh honeywell homes security manufacturer solutions um we have many solutions for any any kind of uh, need for your company uh, we have the Vista, the Vista panels. Let me show you. See if I can. We got Vista panels here. Um, the Lyric, the new Lyric. We got the Lynx uh, family. We got the cameras for Tora Connect. Uh, we got cables also. <clears throat> Vista Plus uh, hybrid panel, hybrid because they are uh, wireless. That's the main reason they call it hybrid. And then we got a picture of the panel plus um, the uh, communicator. This is um, this communicator is for uh, alarm and Tora Connect. This is uh, like a Plan B. Um, all the panels you can you can install an analog uh, line to uh, analog telephone line, which is um, that's how usually they connect it to the central stations, but also. Uh, we have uh, some communicators, which is our IP and uh, GSM, which um, through to the SIM card it connects, uh, it sends the signals to the also to to the central station or via IP. That's the next uh, level in communication with a lab nerd. No? <clears throat> Uh, really quick, the agenda is gonna we're gonna see um, characteristic uh, characteristics and and features of uh, the Vista 20 and the Vista 40 LA. Um, okay, Vista 21 IP also. We're gonna see some features. We're gonna see some um, commands, how to program some zones, and a little bit of a description on each one. Uh, why Vista? Vista, why Vista? There is a reason why Honeywell Homes Vista, the Plus series, are the most commonly used control panel in the security industry. They offer you and your customers more than they really want. Simplify installation, robust protection, and innovate, innovative features that improve lifestyle, including simplify operation and support for home automation and control. Uh, the Vista integrate intrusion, fire, GSM radio, state of the art alarm communications, video, automation capabilities in a flexible and scalable system. Designed to seamlessly integrate with Honeywell full range of keyboard, touch screen, transmitter, wire and wireless sensor, and individual trigger component giving you the flexibility to create a customized solution at every stage of your customer need. Honeywell has a, a, a variety of um, accessories for this Vista, um, expanders, keyboard, keypads, smoke detectors, all of them wire and wireless. 
and it provides time and cost efficiency for facilities, training, system, programming, and inventory. Um, some characteristics of the panels, uh, they have 48 zones maximum in any configuration, uh, eight wire zones standard, it's in the, in, in the panel, or 15 wire zones using double, double zones. We're gonna see a little bit of that uh, later on. Uh, you can double the zones from zone number two to zone through zone number eight. Number zone number one is now you can double zone number one. It's only dedicated for fire. Uh, for example, you can put a, a smoke detector there, and that's that's the reason why it's not you can double it. But the, all the other zones from number two to number uh, eight, you can double. If you double those zones, you're gonna get up to uh, six, uh, 15 zones. Or also you can get up to 40 maximum wire uh, zones using the, expand, the expanders. They're 4219 and they're 4229. Those are the two uh, Honeywell home ex uh, expanders that you can use. You can use up to maximum of five. Each one has uh, eight zones uh, with N of the line resistor, and eight times five, it's 40. So that's the um, 40 maximum wire expansion zone. And then also you can have up to 40 maximum wireless zones using the, those are the 58 series Honeywell um, wireless devices. And then you need a, a wireless receiver for this. We're gonna see a little a little bit later which which one are they. Uh, also, um, separate from the 48 zone, you have 16 key so, key fob zones, which are dedicated for the key fob. Each key fob use up to four zones, and then you can use up to you can program um, having your in your panel up to four um, keys key fob zones key fob. Each one use four, so four times four is sixteen. And these sixteen zones are not are not, not including the forty eight zones. So if you do the math, forty eight plus sixteen, you can have actually up to six uh, sixty four zones on those uh, Vista panels. It has sixteen programmable outputs. Those are the relays we can use in the. Um, the relay expanders, the 4204 or the 4229. The X10 is not is not in service anymore. It's out of it's out of the market. We don't use that anymore. Um, also, these Vista panels they have two onboard programmable or trigger outputs, and in depend, depending on which Vista you're using, you can have to two or four uh, touch screen consoles or key or keyboard. A keypad. Huh? Another feature: they had 12 zones list uh, already set up by the by factory. Like for example, zone list number three is chimed by zone list. Zone list number four is across zones, etc. Right? Those are already um, um, those are already programmed by by the by the factory. They have the name already. Uh, pages support up to four pages. It's fully down, downloadable via. This is via Compass. Compass is a software that um, Honeywell Homes uses and have for free. You can download it for free. And uh, what it does is, uh, after you install the software, you can run. You can connect to your to your panel remotely. It means you don't have to be on the site to in order to 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 connect to the to the panel remotely. You can see all the configuration or the programming of the of the panel. You can make changes. You can upload and download the the programming if you're gonna make changes. You don't have to be in the site, <clears throat> and it's very useful for for companies that have a, a lot of um, a lot of customers, so you you can even set up like a 
like a programming for a panel and then just downloading if you got a series of, of panels on different houses with the same configuration you just can download it to the panels and then you don't have to be actually in the in the site right um you have a, up to for example the um the 40ala have to they have up to 254 even log that you can see it on the on the keypad which means um you can see the you can see exactly the history of the actions of the of the everything is done in the using the keypad like arming disarming when you have a trouble when you have an alarm you can see the history in the same keypad um instead of um like asking for a report to the central station you can see it on the on the keypad you have up to 250 for event log after that it's gonna it's gonna start erasing the last one and then it's gonna the last one is gonna disappear and then it's gonna save the the latest one um <clears throat> five assignable user code authority levels for uh, it uses a four or ten digit account number those are for the um, for the central station it's SIA compliant it has a voice chime auto stay arming um step arming those are some of the characteristics of the of the panel uh here i'm showing you like a comparison of the some of the vista the old vista and the new vistas uh the vista 20p 21 ap also the vista 40 ala it should be there too uh max zones the standard wire zones doubling zones this is a comparison between all all these uh, vista panels uh, maximum wireless zones the key for zones 16 you can see like the vista 15 the vista 10 they don't have much uh, capacity as the new one at the vista 20p or the vista 21 ip or the vista 48 la right We're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit then um, before we we go over more um, how to program the the uh, the the Vista panel the 48 LA for example. We're gonna see a little bit how 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 it works. How how the the how the panel works. What is the security system? What are the components of the security system? The security system you have actually four company main component which is the control panel which is the alarm center the keyboards the input devices which are the pir the magnetic contact the glass breaker detection smoke sensors etc they are the ones that send information to the panel to the brain the panel is actually the brain and we have the output devices the ones that make noise they want to alert what's happening like the siren, the speaker, the strobe, etc. And also the accessories such, such as uh, the expander or the wireless receivers are considered as output devices. Those are the components of the security system. The control panel, the control panel is the brain of every alarm uh, system. What are the functions of the control panel? You can see in the on the on the little on the on the picture on the on the right you can see um, in the middle the control panel and then all around are the different accessories that that the send information to the brain to the control panel um, what are the functions the um, of the control panel it receives the signal from the sensors it processes the signal and they evaluate the signal according to to the parameters to how it was programmed and then it communicate the alarm condition, right? It send uh, send you an alarm, and if if connected, if the panel is connected to a central station, then it's going to send the, the signal to the central station. The central station call the police. Uh, the features of the control panel: number of alarm zones available. Like we see, some of them have 20, 48. We got the vista, the high, the high vista, like um, the 20, the 120 zones or the 2, 150 zones. Those are the other vista. Uh, a number of areas or partition. Uh, some of them have only one partition. Some of them have two. 
and some of them had three partitions. And and the expansion capacity, how 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 much you can expand these um, those um, these panels using the expanders. Uh, the control panel it acts based on the schedule that was done. This programming can be done in two ways. Uh, the programming can be done via uh, via the keyboard. The installer using a key sequence manually program the panel or via programming software, right? Um, programming software meaning like uh, you need the software like Compass, the one we were talking about before. It requires a PC with a communication software through which the panel is accessed, uh, is accessed remotely. Usually by telephone, well, but that was before. Now you can, we can go, we can use any communicators and we can remote connect it through IP or GSM or locally and the programming download is made. What is a zone? A zone is an area of point or point of uh, protection with a common characteristic that groups one or more similar sensors. It allows to easily identify the area or place where the event occurred. Now you can put a name of the zone, for example, kitchen, so you know which uh, which zone is it, it's in, in fall or in, in trouble or in alarm, right? And it does uh, it doesn't mean like the number of devices or sensors that can be connected to the control panel are are the number of zones. For let's give you an example. For example, you can connect in in zone number one. You can connect up to sixteen uh, smoke detectors, two uh, two wires of smoke detectors, and all of all of them is going to be they they're going to belong to zone number one. So any of them, that three in your panel is gonna is gonna see it as zone number one, even though you have sixteen devices, and but the panel is gonna see it as a one device. But what what I'm saying is, um, it doesn't mean like if you have like twenty five um, access uh, devices, it means you're gonna use twenty twenty five uh, zones. <clears throat> we recommend use for each device. We recommend use one zone. But you can put in one zone more than one device. Uh, the zone configuration, how you configure the zone, there are three types of configuration, wire, software, or wireless. The wire is uh, it is a zone that is connected directly to the panel, to the panel uh, board, or to an expansion um, board by means of cable. You know what I mean? Um, you got to run the cable. Um, Software, in this case, uh, there's no physical connection, but the assignment of a function to a song by program, for example, for example, the wireless uh, push button or the keyboard function keys and the, on the keypad or panic commands are done by software. And the other one, the other song configuration is wireless. These are the song that the panel handles through a wireless receiver module. You need to have a, a wireless receiver in order to to configure your wireless devices, which can be can be internal or external of the panel board. We're going to see some examples later on. <coughs> Those are the zone types. Sometimes they use and use uh, zone entry, exit, intrusion, delay, perimeter, interior follower, fire, panic, audible, or silent 24 hours, or supervision. Um, day arming or night alarm. Those are the different types of zones, and in the picture you can see different types of, um, of devices. Which, when you program, you gonna you gotta assign any a type zone, just one type zone. This is when you program your your devices. But all of them are sending signal connected to the to the main to the brain, right, to the panel. Conditions of the zone, there is all, all four conditions of the zone, fall, alarm, trouble check, and restore. Fall is when, um, indicates when an area uh, leaves its, its normal state, so so the normal state like ready, nothing happens, uh, while the system is disarmed. It's not going to send a, a signal to the central station, it's not going to give you alarm, so it's going to give you only a fall, because the system is not armed. 
when the system is armed, then it's going to give you an alarm. You know, it indicates when an area leaves uh, its normal state while the system is armed. The panel in this case will activate the siren, the dialer, according to the programming in its regard. Also now, the, um, another one is a travel check. The travel check indicates when an area level uh, leaves also the, its normal state, going to a fall state. For example, it can be a tamper or a device, a cut cable or a system outside the uh, expected value with, with another value. And can cause actions, warning on the on the key on the on the keypad and the communication to the monitor uh, monitoring center, the central station. That's a trouble, and then you gotta a check so something is not working right. So you gotta you have to check it out what's going on. And restore is, um, indicates when an area enter, enters its normal state after an alarm on a fault condition. Those are the four um, conditions of a zone. Then here is a summary. We can see a summary of the of like for example, this is a Vista 21 IP. Uh, we can see all the terminals from one to 20. Actually, it's from one to 24. And the 21, 22, 23, and 24 are for. That's where you connect the the um, the phones the the phone line. Uh, one and two here. One and two is the power. Three and four, you connect the bell. And then five, six, seven, and eight, it's your ECP. Your ECP bus. This is where you connect all your keypads, your communicators, your expanders. And then starting from uh, so number. Um, Starting from A to up to 20, those are the song, your song numbers, right? I'm sorry, uh, the ECP, it's from, I'm sorry, for 4, 5, 6, 7, okay? It's not the A, yeah. Starting the starting 8 to the right, it's all your, it's all your, uh, your zones. Um, the ECP was 4, 5, 6, 7, where 4 is your negative, 5 your positive, and 6 as your data in. The, usually is the green cable and seven is your data out. Usually is the yellow or white cable. <clears throat> Here is the the Vista 21 IP. It's the only one who has a, a IP that's connected to the internet. It has the, your RJ45. And these are the LEDs that are telling you the activity of the of your of your line, uh, internet connection. Uh, this is this is a uh, 48. This is a some uh, this is a connection the 48. So it's almost the same. They don't have the the RJ45, uh, but it also have one and two. They all they all similar. The one and two are the power. The three and four is the um, your output, and four, five, six, seven is your ECP. And from eight to the right, it's all your zones. Right at the beginning. Each terminal is a, each two terminals are a zone, but starting on zone number three, you, you, you have a common terminal. Like zone three and four, you got um, terminal number 13 as a common, like five and six, number 16, etc. <clears throat> this is a summary of connections. Uh, another line resistor, that's what we, we usually um, tell people to use. It means like you use a, a 2K in a resistor, uh, resistor at the end at the end of the device. Now, usually people, there's a lot of people who who install this uh, resistor at the in the same panel here in the same terminal, which we don't recommend at all because if you put it on the on the terminal on the here on the panel, it's it's very easy for a burglar to to do a breach and then the 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 alarm won't trick right so it's more difficult if you put the resistor at the end of the line which whatever it's the device whatever is installed it's more difficult for the, for a burglary to to breach the the panel um those are supervised that's why we use uh, a resistor a 2k resistor and we we got also uh normally close 
or normally open zones and these are like the how how it's done right normally close and supervise normally open and supervise and this is when you double zones for example here we're gonna we double in zone number seven automatically opens zone number 15 zone number eight automatically opens zone number 16 uh, this is the zone pairs. Two opens 10, three goes with 11, four with 12, five with 13, six with 14, seven with 15, and eight with 16. How the how the panel knows which one is um, which one you using? I mean, which one is like zone? For example, in zone number seven, 15, because they go they go, first of all they go in the same terminals. Both uh, both of the devices go to the same terminal, but the reason how how the the panel knows which one is which one is because of the resistor we use uh, for the zone numbers low zones like zone number seven we use a 3k resistor and from the high zones in this case zone number uh, 15 we use the uh, a 6k resistor this is how the the panel knows uh, when you double the zones and then you can have up to 16 zones when you double zones. So if you got a small installation, for example, a 13, 14, 15 devices, you don't need to put a, an expander. You don't need to like to spend more money on expander because just doubling the zone, it, it covers your, your necessity. Uh, this is a power calculation. All the all these panels is, is very important. Um, these panels, they give you up to 600 million pairs. So if you go over 600 million pairs, the panel isn't gonna work right. It's gonna give you a lot of trouble, a lot of um, heritage. And how you how you set up the, um, how you know if you are over your 600 million pairs or or you are okay? We're putting an example here. For example, in this in this example, each device uses a certain amount of uh, million pairs. So for example, in this in, in this case, we're using like four keypads, which, which each one use uh, 21 million pairs each. So we already have 40, uh, 408 million pairs. We're using three motion detectors at, at 25 m, uh, million pairs each. We're using 75 million pairs total. And then we put four small detectors at 65 million pairs each. We have uh, 256 million pairs with a total of 815 so it means like we're gonna we're going over already all the 600 million pairs so the panel is not gonna work good in this case when when it happens you need to install uh another power supply a supplementary power supply this is the like the model number of the power supply this way you can have more power in the on the panel right? and then what you do it's uh you, there is a common negative going from the power to, to the supplementary power supply to the to the to the panel, and that's why you uh, the panel knows they're using a, another source of power, and then it, it gonna it gonna recognize all the other devices. <clears throat> okay, uh, well, you're gonna see a little bit of uh, some. Character, I mean, accessories. This is like the Exxon expander, the 4219, which give you eight, eight more uh, zones. They all uses a 2K another LAN resistor. It connects to the ECP bus, so meaning from here it goes four cables to the to the panel, to the ECP bus, and it's tamper and closure, meaning like if somebody opens, open the the expander, they're gonna send you a, a alarm uh, signal. Um, we can have up to five. Each one use a different address, as you can see, depending on the zone you're using, using different address. And then the the way you set up the address, the way the panel knows which uh, we are using, there is uh, here a switch. Uh, there's some switches here. And this is a table, like for example, if you're gonna use um, zone nine to 16, so then it's, you gotta, you gotta use, you have to use address seven. Address seven, here is the, 
the position of the, of the switches that you're gonna you're gonna set up on the expander. This is how the panel knows you're gonna use uh, zones nine to sixteen, right? If you're using two or three, each one have to have their its own address, so the panel knows which um, which zone is gonna open. Uh, this is another song expander, the 4229-1. This is the same. Uh, it has eight um, eight more zones, but also it gives you two relay modules, two relays. And also it's going, um, it's going to the ECP bus, four cables going to the panel. Um, a song expander, two relay, drive form C where you program and map it in, in the command 79 and 80 of the, um, the programming. Um, it connects to the ECP bus. It also tampers closure and uses the same addresses. As you can see, it's the same, the 7, the 8, the 9, and the 10 address, depending on how many, how many of them you're going to use. And then we have the expander, the relay module, which is the 4204, which uses the same, <coughs> um, I mean, it uses also addresses, but this is different. It uses address um, starting from 12 to 16. I mean, 12 to 15, sorry. You can use up to 4, 12 to 15. And then it has also the switch uh, the switch module here. So you, you program it depending on which, uh, how many, how many of them you're using. Same tampering closure, connect to the ECP bus, and uses only addresses from 12 to, to 15. Okay, this is, and those are, all these are for the, if you're gonna expand wire zones. Now, if you're gonna expand to a wireless zone, you need to have a receiver. The Honeywell has the 5800 series. All 5800 series are uh, wireless, or, you need to have a receiver, which is also connected to the ECP bus, or you can use a keypad, like for example, the 6160RF keypad, which is also is a keypad, and at the same time, it's a, it's a wireless receiver. If you use this, you don't, you don't have to buy a wireless, re uh, wireless receiver anymore, because this, it has to, it works as a wireless receiver and as a keypad. Um, this is the wireless receiver we're talking about, the 5081. <clears throat> There's three types of, of wireless receiver, DL, the low, the medium, and high. Depending on that, the, the low uh, it supports up to eight zones, the medium supports up to 16 zones, and the high, I'm sorry, this is in, in Spanish, <laughs> and the high, which is alto high, it goes up to the number of the zone of the panel, in this case, 48, 48 zones, right? And then we have the commercial one, which is a UL receptor commercial, and it has the the anti sabotage. <clears throat> also, is connected to ACP bus, and the 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 address it's always zero zero. This one is already set up as a zero zero. You don't have to set up anything because all these panels use you can use up to only one uh, wireless receiver. So it's always come as a, with, with address zero, zero. You don't have to change anything. Um, this is the address table of the different devices. Uh, this is the receiver, which is used as a zero, zero, but you have um, the song expanders, the relay modules, and the keypads. Each one use different um, addresses. The zero, zero is the one who use the, the wireless. Um, this is a little example, which is the cover area of the receiver, or the wireless receiver. It goes up to 60 meters or 200, uh, 200 feet. And it has a range. You can put all the wireless uh, devices in that range. If you have other devices out of the range, then you need to install uh, a repeater. A repeater who gotta he have to be inside of the coverage of the of the uh, re the repeater have to go have to be inside the coverage of the repeat uh, the receiver. I'm sorry. We're gonna see uh, this is a um, this is the the repeater. The repeater have a uh, uh, three uh, LEDs: the green, the, the yellow, and, and red. Which the green LED is normally on, 
when you power it on, it's gonna be it's gonna go in green and flash and flashes when the RF is being processed. The yellow normally um, normally flashes when it, when it sends signals when it's communicating with any 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 sensor. For example, it's gonna flash yellow, and the red is when it's um, normally soft. But um, when it when it have an interference or something, it's gonna go it's gonna go red. And when it sees any RF uh, radio frequency activity, right? jamming. In, in other words, um, the wireless repeater. We're gonna we're gonna see an example of how it works. We have uh, we we have the panel. We have our panel here. We have the keypad. We have the receiver. And then in this case, for example, the 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 repeater is it in the coverage of the of the receiver. So. Then you gotta expand your your zone, and then go more more wireless devices. And then if you have more um, wireless devices further on, further from the receiver or the repeater, um, you need to install another repeater. So in this case, that repeater is in the coverage of the it's in the coverage of the repeater, not the not the receiver. So this is wrong. This is not gonna work. The, the the right way in this case if you have so many uh wireless devices if you put the receiver like in the middle and then from there you start putting your your repeaters and the coverage and the song coverage of the receiver this way you can expand and then make sure the your devices wireless devices gonna they're gonna be um talking to the to the panel <clears throat> So you can put another one, a third repeater. This is the the right way to to install the receiver and the wireless repeaters. Uh, we have um, a great variety of uh, Honeywell keypads, all kind of English, Spanish, wireless, with song span, uh, song expansion. Some of them, like for example, this one, they have a they are wireless. Plus, they have a it, it works also as a song expander. You have up to four song expanders. There's wireless keypad. There are fixed in English, uh, custom alpha. This is the most common one, the 6160 or the 6160 RF. There's more keypads. Those are the premium keypad family, the tuxedo. In the, in the bottom, the tuxedo. This is for fire. And this is premium. This uh, custom, um, a little different. Uh, this is some wireless devices. We got contact, a Windows uh, door contact. We got uh, transmitters. We got uh, smoke detectors, wireless smoke detectors. Uh, we got temperature sensors and flow detectors. We got the tilt sensor transmitter. We got the small ones, slim, small, big, all kind of uh, transmitter, ultra small transmitters, etc. Um, we have the PIR, the motion sensors, all kind, all kind of motion sensor. We got shock sensors also, glass break detectors, and we got the um, the personal panic transmitters. One button two buttons and then we got a key fob, four four button key fob. <clears throat> we got the siren, the sounders or the siren. This is uh we got the wireless one or we got the wire one too also. We got all variety of uh sirens. Now um in order to program we're gonna talk about a little bit about programming. In order to program, we have to set up the the key the, the keypad with keypad address number sixteen, which is the first keypad keypad address that you that Vista used sixteen. So as soon as you you t when you usually the keypad comes by factor default with address thirty one, which was the the old the old address that the panel use 
now it's 16. So usually what you do when you turn on the, the, your panel, you press 1 and 3 at the same time in the first 50 seconds, and it's going to show you the address, the actual address with the keypad. What you do, if it's 31, you just got to put 1 and 6 and press uh, the start key, and it's going to save your, your address. And you already set up the your keypad with R sixteen, so you you can start like programming your programming your your panel. This is some uh, programming locations. The the commands, delay and timing is from command thirty one to thirty six. Communication options are like for twenty nine forty to fifty six. The reporting option. This is a uh, central station from command 59 to 69, command 70 to 76, and some miscellaneous, and some keypad console options. If you're gonna install more keypads, you gotta, the first one is the only one you know that it's already, like you know, you don't have to configure it, um, just the address, but if you're gonna have a second, a third, fourth, fifth keypad, you gotta go to the command prompt, to the command programming, like from, from 190 to 199, and you gotta enable the keypad, otherwise it won't work. <clears throat> um, entering programming mode, you use one of the following methods. You press, uh, when you turn on the, the Vista panel, you press the, the Start key and then the Start and the Pound key at the same time, the, uh, within the 50 seconds of the power up is applied to the control panel. This is one way to go to the programming. After, after powering up, you enter the install the installer code, which is by default 4112 plus 800. Or uh, this is by default. Later on, you can change it. If you get out of programming with um, star 98, then the metal one above must be used. I mean, this is like unlocking your 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 panel. If you get out, usually you get out with star 99. Uh, you get out of the programming, but if you get out with standard EA, which some people use, you lock your 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 keypad, and you can use you can go on programming unless you do the number one option. <clears throat> uh, in keypad programming mode, the uh, the the start key it advances to the field to enter data. And the pound key, it sees what it's um, it sees what is already in the in the in that particular command. Um, to default your panel to factor default, you you use pound ninety seven. And if you're gonna default your compass download software, um, the communication the the the, the data is in the and in the panel, you use a star. 96. You when you exiting as we saw before, we, we spoke before. You can use either 98 or 99. Usually you do 99, so it's going to allow you to go back again to programming. And if you start, if you use 98, then it's going to lock your your panel, and then you have to power down and power back on. And in the first 50 seconds, you gotta you gotta press pound and start at the same time. Uh, this is some programming like when you when you're in programming already like four 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 one one two eight hundred. You start in command twenty the the uh, command twenty installer code. This is where you can change the installer code if you want. The uh, command twenty one it's quick arm enable meaning like you don't need a, a code to to arm uh, to arm the system. Start 20, command 22, it's uh, jamming detection. You can enable or disable. Start 23, it's um, quick bypass. If you're going to enable or disable bypass zones, like for example, it's a zone which is in full and you can, you need to be repair or fix, you can bypass it in order to arm the, the system. Um, another one, um, command 31, it's a single and sounding. If you want, if you want a uh, unlimited sound every time there is alarm in this particular zone, or just one alarm, here you enable or disable. This is the entry exit programming. 
that's where you set up your your min your seconds your time when you exit or entry the the premises like exit delay and um, it's a uh, command 34 command 35 and 36 the entry delay number one number two you can put 30 60 45 90 120 minutes depending how how much time you want you want the panel to give you to get out or get into the premises without sending a an alarm to the to the central station uh command 38 confirmation of ding uh armin ding is, is this is if you if you have a siren or something on the outside it's going to confirm that your your panel is armed uh, commands 41 to 41 41 up those are the i'm sorry uh, the communication programming that's where you set up uh, you you put your your phone number your account number this is all for when you have a, a central station monitoring your 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 panel this is where you put all information uh, if there is a secondary phone the primary account of oh, this is partition to primary account you can have a, each partition sometimes can have a different account a different central station so this is where you put all the information uh, the command for the other report format. We always use the um, the Adenco contact ID, the seven digit, uh, four digit Adenco contact ID. But those are the options. Um, this communication format programming is still. If you want like 49, if you want to split uh, the report to the central station, or you're gonna send everything in one. Uh, command 50. If you you want a delay to send the alarm to the central station sometimes you just put one because sometimes you make a mistake and you want to and then you you arm the system make a mistake you disarm it right away in the in the in the first 15 seconds it's not going to send any signal to to the central station otherwise if you put no delay it's going to send it automatically uh this is more uh this is for the alarm communication when you have a communicator installed in the in your panel those are the commands, 54, the dynamic uh, signal delay, if you're going to delay it or not. The 55, the signal priority, if if, if you're going to use the, the phone line first or the IP GSM module first, the communicator, which one is going to use first. And this is a little table or the, or the one we just talked about. Uh, the reports. The report who goes to the center station go from command 59 to all the way to 69 or 70 something. Those are the different um, report code that you 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 enable or disable depending on the customer if he wants to or the central station if he want to receive everything or just some of them. This is where all the commands where you where you enable or disable. This is more report commands. 70, 71, 72, 73, up to 76. Like for example, just one example. Um, if you do bypass, uh, command 72, bypass restore report code. Uh, you put 00, zero you're going to disable it. If you put 11, one, one, you're going to enable it. If you want, like for example, somebody use, uh, you somebody bypass a, bypass a zone to arm the system, you want, you want that to be sent to the central station or not. This is so. Um, this is for the remote interactive services. That's the wrist. Now the, um, there are the options. Usually by default it's A zero. Um, this is another command. Ninety three report in our period. Well, we're gonna see a little bit now of programming. We're gonna be running a little out of time. Uh, how you program? This is a uh, different programming zones. All of this information is also, for, um, just in case, all this information is also in the in the in the manual, in the programming manual that comes with the with the panel. Uh, we got programming zone, all different kind of programming zone, depending on which one you're gonna use. You you type the number, like for example, zero three is perimeter, zero four is interior follower. When you when when you programming and they ask you for this, you that's what you put. This is more programming zones. <clears throat> this is twenty four hour programming zones. 
this is system response type. This is basically you use this for the for the key fob. Uh, when you go to 56, the command 56 is where you you program your zones. It's going to ask you different questions. Well, the first one we're going to see right now which um, which zone you're gonna you're gonna program. Then your input type, and this is how it's going to look like. Uh, set to confirm, yes or no. This is when you use a wireless uh, device. You're going to confirm at the, end of, at the end of your programming if you want to confirm with the, with the panel or not. Then it's going to ask you the the song number. It, depending on the song number, it's going to, depending on the song number, it's going to, depending on the hardware, like for example here, it's going to tell you this is a, another LAN resistor or this is a, you're using an expander or RF, it's wireless. They're going to ask you for the time perimeter, uh, the tie zone. That's where you put the, for example, in this case, 03 is perimeter. Depending on the, depending on the device you're using, you just got to set up um, in here. Then it's going to ask you for the partition, one, two, or three. Then it's going to give you the report code, the report code to send it to central station, 0110 is fine. It's going to ask you for, um, the hardware type. If it's a wire, uh, another line resistor. If it's a double zone, you put number three. That you double in zone. The response time always one. We usually leave it at one. You have uh, three or four options. One, two, three, four. I mean zero, one, two, three. This is another summary screen that is going to show you more more complete summary screen. The zone number, the zone type, the partition, the report code, your hardware, and the response time. And then, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're going to put a name on the zone, then in here, when they ask you to program alpha, you press yes, number one, and it's gonna give you another, another, um, another set of uh, screens where you put, depending on the on what vista you're using, you're gonna go and you're gonna go and and program your the name of the um, of the zone. Some of them, like for example, Vista 21, it already comes with a with a set of uh, awards already uh, already set up on the on the panel. And for example, in the Vista 48, you just you just create your own your own words. And this is um, when it's a wireless device. In the input type, you put number three, which is um, RF trans, and then it's going to ask you after you put three, it's going to ask you for for the serial number. It um, every every wireless device has a serial number and a loop number. So there's two ways you can configure this. Either um, you see all all wireless devices has a little sticker inside and outside with a number with a serial number. You just type it in. You can either type it in. Or the other way, it's to open and close the, the device, and it's going to automatically send the the serial number, and it's going to show you here once. And if you do it twice, it's going to get your loop number. It's going to get your loop number, and then after that, you press um, every time you 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 select something, you got to press all the time the the start key to save it and go to the next uh, to the next question so after you got your your serial number your loop number you press continue and then it's gonna it's gonna ask you to confirm if we put number one in the first question remember they ask you you want to confirm or not and then you gotta open and close the device and then it's gonna confirm with the panel Same thing with the alpha. If you're gonna put a name, the same thing. You put the name and the, when when you you get asked for program alpha, you put, you say yes, and then you you start putting the name of your son. And if you're gonna replace the a wireless device, you go to the to the zone, you go into the serial number, and you start putting. Zero 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 on everything, and press the the start uh, the start key, and then it's gonna 
it's going to delete everything and then you go back and register your new device. Okay, there's also a function keys and the keypad. Usually the, the four over here, you can you can program this this key in different ways. Each key has a, a particular zone, like key we call it like A, B, C, D. Start going from top to bottom. Key uh, letter A is zone number 95. Uh, B is zone number 99, and C is zone number 96. And then you you can program this using those zones. Security codes, it, this panel have a 248 security codes, which can be assigned by um, one of five authority levels. These are the, the, the authority levels. Number one is the installer, number two, the master, and number three, the master part, uh, partition master. Each partition has a master. Number four, um, Number four is the rest, and number five, um, those are the levels. This, here is the levels of the uh, of the users. Zero is user, uh, regular user. Number one is arm only, if you're gonna just arm only. Number two is a guest. Number three is the rest. And number four is partition um, master. Number, it, the reason, the reason the user numbers are always from 3 to, uh, to 49 is because uh, user number 1 is always installer and user number 2 user number two is the master, uh, the master code and the installer code, the, your master user. Those, I, it can be like changed. That's why everything else, all your level, all your level or authority levels that can be assigned is going to be from user number 3 to 49. These are some how you change, how you add or change uh, user code. For example, to add a user code, you go master code. In this case, by default, one, two, three, four, plus A, plus the two digit number. If you're going to, like, for example, uh, set up a user number three, you put zero three, and then you put the user code or the person, no, the four digit user code. Um, you, how, this is how you delete, how you assign attributes. And this is the attributes and the value. <clears throat> this is how to change the master code. There is two methods to how to change the master code, which by default is 1234. How to add a user code, how to delete a user code, how to add a address code, how to associate a key fob. The key fob, um, after you program, it's not going to work until you, you assign the, the key fob to a user. If you don't assign the key fob to a user, it won't work. So this is the way to assign a key fob. For example, we're going to assign a key fob to a user number three. So we put the master code, in this case, one, two, three, four, plus eight, plus two digit user number, in this case, zero, three, pound, four, and the two digit zone number, meaning like the, the key fob starting zone number 49. So here we put 49. And this is how you set up at the end. You always, every time you do, you do, some of these things is gonna if he accepted it, the panel accepted it is gonna beep at the end, meaning that you did you did okay. <clears throat> this is on troubleshooting to, to just to to finish. When you go common failure, indicate that a failure occurred in the telephone communication portion of the system. Uh, central monitoring station did not receive the keys off of the panel. We've got to check the programming location of the receiver phone number and account number. Uh, if you pong, if you got to like, this is a more, the more common one. You, if you have like an open circuit, CKT, indicate the keypad is not receiving data. we got to check the wiring back to the control panel. Uh, or you can, if you got a uh, system low battery, it's because the the, the body is, is reading less than 11.5 volts. It, it should be more always up more than 11.5 volts or 12. <clears throat> um, modern COM indicates the control and communication mode. This is when you are connecting using compass to remotely to the to the to the panel. It's going to show on the on the screen modern COM. Uh, AC loss is the power indicates on the 
if the power indicator on the keypad is off and AC, AC load is displayed on the keypad, the control panel is running on backup batteries only. So you gotta check the power of your of your panel. Uh, checking sensors when power up the control panel. When power up, the control panel applies to a low DC voltage on the sensor wire. Some status can be measured using DC volts or ohmium meter. An open sensor will measure approximately 12 BDC volts DC. A closed sensor will measure approximately 5 volts DC. A short sensor will measure zero. There's, there's no read. This is not applied on zone number one. Remember, zone number one it's um, is dedicated for a wire uh, for for fire devices. It always a continuously of 12 volts. And with this, um, we pretty much we pretty much uh, cover an overview of the of this of these panels. This is the technical support of different countries that uh, we have. In case you need technical support, you can call one of those numbers. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna this and this is a little um, a little survey. Like if you take a if you take a picture of this uh, QR with your phone, it's gonna automatically pull um, it's gonna automatically pull a an, a survey, which in this case yeah, in this case is in English. Because if it's in, a, if you need in Spanish, you gotta like select a Spanish one. But if you click on this, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna open an English um, survey automatically in your phone, and then you, you can fill it out. The, the survey for us is very important to you can you do the service because it's gonna help you. It's gonna help us in the future to get better or to get more information what what you guys need um, another webinars what you guys spe uh, specifically need and for us also to to get better every time so thank you very much everybody for your time and participation and please do the the survey